was a beautifully sunny day out here in the Gulf of Mexico. We're about 65 miles offshore. Got me and Steve today. Woo! It is. The good news is no lightning. No lightning. Caught some fish already, but you'll have to stay tuned to the, the see what we snapper, got. Uh, was when the rain started. So There's a big snapper. A and there's some big grouper too. Wait till you see what they are. All right, first drop. See what happens here. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's John. Sorry for the audio in the first part of the video. We had some problems with our trolling motor and I had to delete most of the background noise. Sure hope that freaking noise on the trolling motor burns itself out <laughs> whatever it needs to do that's gonna be super annoying not quite as calm as i thought it was gonna be we got something do you they don't want this dead bait, I know that. You put a pinch on one of those little cigars or those little tiny sardines <laughs> or whatever. Cigar. Good fish. I want to get the net. I get it. Something. Feels kind of snapper. <laughs> Look. Looks like snapper, red snapper. Good one. Yeah. That's a really good one. Yeah. Nice. So, chicken rib. Chicken. Chicken rib. Chicken rib. Put that little minnow that I knew was going to be. Got to be 20 something inches. Yep. That's a healthy one. Yep. Definitely more of his buddies down there. Wow, this is awesome. <sighs> Ten pounder. Can't get that out. It's Something. It's got to be grouper, not shaking at all. A little bit more fight. It's got to be grouper. You can see on, I think when I was pulling mine up, something chased, chased after it. Big old scamp. Dude, I thought that felt like a grouper. That's a nice. That's a nice dang scamp. <laughs> Tis. Oh, he's barely hooked too. I mean, he was like just like not even penetrated, Steve. It was just like holding, like a bad boy. <laughs> Big old scam. 24 inches. 
what he ate. Even giants eat peanuts. Or even elephants eat peanuts, I think is what it's. Yeah. All right, one scamp in the books and one eight pound ARS. another couple of grouper or another ARS would be great you guys have never had scant grouper probably one of the best grouper out there and that was a big one 24 inches only gonna be 16 inches to keep showing a lot on the bottom machine right now but hopefully that alarm noise you guys are hearing will go away soon on that trolling motor trolling motor is not even a year old and it's working perfectly but some type of alarm is going off batteries full not sure started going off while we we're catching bait oh i missed them Oh, I think he got my bait that time. Nope. Still trying to eat it. Running with it. It's a real one. Oh, it came off. I should have had it in low gear. Trying to screw around, put it in low gear and it right. come off. That was a real one. Felt like a grouper. A big one. Hopefully my line didn't break. Felt like it just pulled the hook out of his mouth. Yep. It's all right. Small cigars seem to be candy down there. With a big hook, but it seemed to last very long down there. It's nice actually to have a little bit of a breeze today. A couple weeks ago when we were out, it was Steve Steve wasn't with us and it was hot. I don't think it's supposed to get over 10, 12 miles an hour today, so it should be should be nice all day long. Good little gear now. Yeah. What's that? I think I got stripped. On the way down? Yeah. This one's not. Oh. He's fighting now. Oh, no. Oh. oh. I don't know if I just got sharked or what. Wasn't a huge fish. Got him up uh, probably 30, 40 foot and got heavy real quick. That'll be a bummer if the sharks are around. All right. A bunch of scaled sardines are trying. Try that. Oh, no. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a real one. It didn't even make it to the bottom with that big scale sardine. Something 
came off the bottom and got it. She feels like a grouper though, it doesn't really feel like a snapper. Uh oh. Boat coming by, gonna steal our spot. What the hell is that? What is this? This looks like a tuna. You gotta eat the gaff. Bonita. There's our bait for today. Bonita. Means a tuna probably around. Well, I could probably flip them. I like having that big. Buy one of these in the store, they're expensive. Weed him out. Well, that was cool. Deal. <laughs> Steve didn't tell me he had a fish on and whipped that 24 inch. Scamp in the boat. <laughs> that was a good one. You're supposed to let me know when you got a fish on. <laughs> Incoming. <laughs> Dude, that may be bigger than the one I just caught. He's a pretty He's one. probably. He's got to be bigger than. He's bigger than the one I just caught. He's a pretty one. Stunned. Seven, eight pounds. Big one. Try to bleed him. You want to try to bleed him? Sure. Another one of the live ones. big old cigar down see if we can get something not a bad start two scamp grouper and a was that like an eight pound yeah eight pound red snapper this isn't even our scamp spot apparently they like this depth we're probably about a mile or two from where we cut all the big scamp a couple weeks ago got a bonita too we're gonna cut up in a little bit Oh, damn. I thought like a good one too. I think there's another grouper down there. You know, how much of this video is really going to be usable with this? I think there's any way to really silence it either. Come back there. Oh, you get nervous already. You ain't even. So we can keep four, four each. Four, four each on scan. Four each on scan. You only so keep two red grouper, grouper. You can keep four, four grouper, grouper, period. So, so it can be two scamp, two red grouper. grouper. But if you, you only kept red grouper, grouper you can only keep two. Because there's a four grouper aggregate, aggregate in the Gulf of Mexico, Mexico federal waters. And you can keep four scamp per person. <laughs> this isn't the trend for the day. Hey, with some little cloudy weather coming in. Well, there's, there's no, no thunder. thunder in there. We're good. Yeah. yeah. That, that would not be fun. Let's try another one of these guys.
Fish, fish found a rig, a couple feet. feet. Leader. Tiny cigar we caught at the reef this morning. I definitely want the live stuff. This feels like a grouper. Yup. Crazy. Another big skin. This is a spot we've never even been to before. Kind of slowed down, probably, I don't know, we're probably about a half a mile from where we were going to go. And, uh, oh, no. Did you lose a big one? Oh, nice game. That was the belt. Was that on the jig? Yeah, the jig with the, the full size for the hash. Got him. If anybody knows why this trolling motor is doing this, let me know. Got three green lights, everything works. GPS anchor works. Battery's fine, it's 100%. Not sure why it's doing that. <laughs> I mean that. You know, if I can get this guy on my hook. Let's go for a 20 pound ARS with this. It's probably the smallest bait in there on the biggest hook we could possibly put it on. <laughs> Not a lot of boats out today, I guess because of the full moon. We should have came out last night, fished all night. That's a real one. Low gear. Oh, it's the biggest one yet. <laughs> this is a scamp. It's going to be a monster. Feels like red grouper, though. Could be red snapper. Probably going to need the net. Yes, sir. Only made really two good tugs to the bottom. I'm well, still fighting. Could be ARS. Top shot. 50 feet to go. Pretty blowed up down there. Golly, that's got to be ARS the way it's fighting. Looking like it. Yep. Big old ARS. You got two more to go of those. Wasn't the 20 pounder I was hoping for, but. Not bad. Too shabby. Bad. Brain here. Not as big as yours, Steve, but take it. Keep her size, for sure. Yep. We may get a little wet. <laughs> a bit of a rain cloud. <laughs> we gonna run from that, or what do you wanna do? Either one more cast here. Looks like it is kinda headed this way. Kind of, well, it's weird because the wind's blowing straight from the east. Hopefully it just keeps blowing it parallel to us. No thunder, sir. No thunder. No, uh, water spouts either. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Make it to the bottom. Ooh. Mine didn't even make it to the bottom. That was an eight ounce weight and it didn't make it to the bottom. The ARS. Uh, if you're not doing anything, feels about the same size as the other one, I think. Need a 20 pounder. We got two in there? Yep. Right color. We're in a pocket of these, all the same size. At least they're a little bit bigger this time. Last week, the first ones we were catching were kind of... Dinky? Yeah, they were like... I think the first keeper we caught, the very first fish we caught was an 18-inch one, which wasn't bad. We kept that one, but... We put a lot of 16-inch ones back. Yeah, you're decent. I wonder if I could put him back. Like 18. Oh. You don't want to be in there, buddy. Definitely don't want to be in here. So I didn't keep that fish. Okay. He's like 18 inches. Yeah. So I'm trying to get a bigger one. got time to get a couple biggies. Put that big blue runner down there. The bottom machine is lit up. I think that's moving away from us. That cloud. Oh, no, it's getting closer. Yeah, I can hear the rain over here. That's a lot of rain, too. Oh, I think with these big ones, yeah. the big baits are tougher. Tougher to hook. Yeah. Get the hook. That's a real one. So they hooked. Oh. Damn. That was a big fish. Look at that. Did you see how far I got him up before he came off? Yeah. Only about, only about 10 foot. <laughs> he went right back down. He was just about to get wet. Want to move or? I, you know, it doesn't bother me that much to get wet. I mean, it's uh. Yeah, we're getting wet. Yeah, well, we're about to get wet. Let's see if I can get that big fish, whatever it was. Maybe he'll eat this little guy too. Rain should be coming. Kind of hoping this would parallel us, but what do I just coming right at us now? That's some pretty out this way. Not so much behind us. Oh, he came back for it. That wind's picking up too. So if we put in the video title that oh you got a big one on too, yeah. if we put in the video title we fished through a monsoon. Will that be clickbait? 
<laughs> the one, the one guy made a comment that said that, uh, I looked in your video. You said the FWC took your fish, but <laughs> I looked everywhere in your video. I you didn't, didn't see it. Or anything. I was like, what did you do? Just search around to see if you could see us get in trouble. <laughs> but in case you guys haven't seen it, 43 minutes in on the last videos okay, where the FWC. This, this thing, okay. Watch foot. Watch foot. All right, I didn't bleed that one. We'll see if we can tell the difference when we clean it. It's raining. Looks like a fish. This one's a color. <laughs> I can't tell what it is. It looks like red snapper. Big old, big one. Holy sh... Oh, we got our flat line, too. That's not good. I kind of thought that was probably going to happen. That's all right. Where is the flat line? I don't know. Uh, I hope that's not boat. Good. He's not coming out. Going with the mouth. Yep. Jaw looks hard. Jaw looks last soon. Did you last soon? Is this guy? Oh. It's going to be 13, 14 pounds. I can't even throw it. I knew, I knew that, that rain, rain was going to bring us some good luck. Oh, something had it. Like a real soft bite. Yep. That's good. It's a little heat on it. Yeah, going to need the net. Okay. S A R S. I think. Be digging. I'm the same size as the one we just caught. Not a single red grouper yet, have we? Huh. Weird. And that's why they're shutting the season down at the end of the month. They're endangered too, like the A R S. Yeah. Get a lot of red going. And start and just slow dropping it down. Put a piece of that cup beneath it. I don't need him to touch it. Well, it's not a 20 pounder. Pretty good fish. Pretty good fish. Barely hooked. Good one. Spot number three. Not showing a whole bunch, but Let's see what's down there. That is a big one. That feels like another group there. Maybe another group there. A little tiny cigar. They just give up. Oh, wow. Take it. Look at the color on him. The color's kind of crazy. He's like super light. Right, right. Yeah. Look at that. I need your help. Grab something to get in his mouth. Grab something to get in his mouth. Right there. That fucking, the white thing. The white thing. Get in his mouth. Oh. Okay, I'm, my finger's out. Hey, God, didn't teeth, even. Huh? Yeah, it snapped on you. <laughs> oh, 
I wasn't sure if the hook was in here. No. His mouth. God, he has got some chompers on him. Yeah. Woo! Dude, he, I think he went into my nail. He went right through my nail. Wow. Yeah. Oh, freaking teeth. Don't stick your finger in a snapper. <laughs> Holy crap. make a year-end blooper reel. <laughs> That'll get your blood pumping. <laughs> Where are these waves coming from? Bigger. Bigger. Bigger than the one I just put back. Ow. Sharp. <laughs> you got bigger? Let's go. <laughs> Folks, we have a shark problem. Let's see if I can get this one past him. This feels like a big bird. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't make it. Yep. Oh, you got my weight and everything. I didn't get my weight. gear in this thing is the shit. I don't even want to use a different reel. I've got those other Shimano's and you get one low gear. Really is good. <laughs> chin to chin. Come on boys. Friendly. new uh, electric reel out. Let's see if this works.
Well, it's only going to work probably one more time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that nut strips. It's the fastest that thing's ever been reeled up. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Definitely snapper. Tax man's here. Well, that just happened. He's right there, too right under the boat. God, he's still alive too. Poor guy. I don't think it's gaffing material. It's a shark. Somebody will tell us in the comments. That's a big pretty truck. I think it's a lemon. Look how his tins are all banged up. Oh, shit. There it goes. Oh, <laughs> About time. Woo! Alright. I'm moving. Sharks. I'm supposed to use that word. 
<laughs> it's a new spot. You're not supposed to use that. Right, don't use the S word. <laughs> Could it be the big stinky pinky we were looking for? Oh, quick so baby. Good one. That's a big one. He did, he got me. He woke up. He came up about three cranks and then he was like, uh-uh. <laughs> Six, inch. Biggest red grouper of the day. Good one. All right, guys, if you've made it this far into the video, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you leave a comment, click that thumbs up button. Also, stay tuned to the end, and you can see how I prepared the mangrove snapper that bit my finger right through my fingernail. Came out pretty good. Stay tuned to the end. Pretty good. All right, guys, this is the snapper yesterday that bit through my finger nail. Look at their teeth on that. Bit through my finger right there. <laughs> Did a little bit of damage on the other side. So we decided to keep him whole. We're gonna fry him up. Gonna use a little bit of Jamaican seasoning, dust of a little cornstarch. First thing we're gonna do, take some of these pins down a little bit. This one's a little picky. them spikes on there you don't really want to be getting those anywhere near your mouth and we're gonna do a little scoring first to get down to the bone but not through the bone big deal you guys didn't see us clean the fish yesterday because we got back to the marina and it was pouring on us so we cleaned fish in the rain which I'm sure everybody's done once or twice some area for that seasoning to get into. Can pull it on the cavity too. There's not a lot that's probably going to stay in there, but should be good. Crunch. 
also that one of the red snapper we caught. We always take the collars and stuff off. So I'm gonna fry some of that up too. I've already taken the scales off. So first time I'm gonna try to fry them. We usually smoke this and make fish dip out of it, but here's we give it a little try this way. on there and get this mess cleaned up and get the oil going. snapper that bit down on my finger yesterday went right through my fingernail. We also uh, deep fried up some collars too. Those are going to be yummy. Alright, deep fried whole snapper. Crunchy skin, good seasoning. 
Mm. <laughs> That's so good. Look at that. This is a lot more tender. Not sure why my camera keeps shutting off, but that's the American Red Snapper. Took all the skin off, or took all the uh, scales off. Mm. Oh wow. That seasoning was really good on there. The Jamaican seasoning, yummy.